Okay, I want to make a video about something that's been coming up for me, which is, um, I got a bunch of pain medications <coughs> for my fingers, and I fucked them up. I got a bunch of oxycotton, oxycondone, which is an opiate, which is, is like heroin, but not as extreme, and... I always want to use this shit. Like, I, what I wanted to say was I really regret uh, letting myself get so much into pot in high school because at that time, I was, I was already, um, like, my life was already pretty much just about stimulating myself. That was basically my reason for being was to avoid feeling shitty about myself and find ways to make me feel better. And so, like, pot just clicked so well with my life because I could resist authority. Like, half the fun of weed for me was, like, the, like, freedom I felt by engaging in the, like, subversive high school drug trade because, like, sneaking around and having to hide the evidence and fool my parents and trick people into thinking that I wasn't high or whatever um and then later on when when i could just smoke weed with my friends you know and it wasn't a big deal it wasn't it wasn't near as fun as it was when we had like a purpose to do it yeah so i mean i justified it because like you know authority figures tell you that weed is this horrible thing and then you smoke it, and you're fine, so, oh, they're wrong, it's not harmful. And I guess it's... I mean... But the consequence of doing that is that I, I replace my old habitual system of stimulation, what was it, television, and video games, and... God, I was not a happy kid. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was not happy. Uh, food, video games, television. Why is that all I can think of? Food, video games, television. Yeah. So place all that stuff with pot. Pot, I mean, it, it, it was more effective at stimulating me, you know? Like, that's why addictions are so common in society, because it's, it's just the way the human mind works, except drugs are a more effective and easier way to do it, so, of course, people are going to be people and get addicted to drugs like with oxy now now that i have it i'm really really cracking down to not take advantage of it to stimulate and entertain myself and it's difficult because like it, i mean because i've already accepted you know drugs as being an easy way out it's like who i am is like because like it, it's literally like three or four times an hour whenever i like I, I like slow down and um, I realize how how ow, how pointless my life is and um, what a waste my life has been. <laughs> Um, it's like, fuck it, I want to go use Oxy, because it's like the easiest, most extreme, like, the other stimulation that I typically use is music, food, cigarettes, bathing, music, food, cigarettes, Bathing. 
um, talking to people on the internet. That stuff isn't one. It's it's like one fourth of the stimulation that I get from Oxy, except it doesn't even last as long. Like the few moments of like, oh, things aren't so shitty, like the like the um upness, like being brought up from being frustrated and hopeless and not wanting to be here, not wanting to be me. It, that lasts like maybe three, four, or five minutes tops. Usually that kind of experience that I get through my normal, everyday, part of my life stimulation lasts like maybe 30 seconds, if that. That's like average. But um, the Oxy will be like four times that for like 45 minutes to an hour. And so that's, it's like drastic contrast. So now I, now I have to deal with this and I can see kind of how, how fucked <laughs> I've, um, I've made myself because it happens like all the time. All the time, I have to again deal with that point where it's like, "Fuck it, I want to do oxy." And I bet it wouldn't even be such a big deal if I hadn't um, let myself so heavily accept drugs as being an a justifiable escape because fuck it it doesn't matter like fuck it um i don't matter like fuck it it's not important it doesn't make a difference yeah so that's like the consequence of me when i was 13 saying like okay, I'm going to get really into drugs because I don't like being myself and drugs make me forget. And I want to forget because I don't want to do anything about who I am. So that's probably what it's going to feel like, you know, like, like saying no to a whole bunch of money. Like, that's what it's going to feel like. Like, if you could have a bunch of money um, and say no to it just so that you won't let yourself use it to hide from yourself.